Hello all, it's uh, Ben here at uh, Stafford Station Engage. Um, thanks for joining me. Um, just want to say thanks, uh, first of all, for 500 uh, subscribers. Um, it's been a full year of uh, modelling fun over here. Um, thanks for joining me. I hope you're going to enjoy the next year where I um, get on with the uh, Stafford South uh, section of the new layout, which... Uh, goes beyond that uh, Newport Road Bridge over there. So uh, um, I'm just gonna, in this one, just do a general update. I've been doing some little uh, scenic jobs, plus some weathering. And I've also uh, acquired these uh, Class 90s uh, to the fleet, which are from Graham Farish, which um, are absolutely excellent. Uh, so I'll just give you a close up of those. I think they're a uh, definite uh, improvement on the old model. Um, and the uh, sound is excellent so uh, I'll be doing, doing a few running sessions in between the modelling jobs where I'll be uh, sort of flashing these about um, so uh, and also I'll do some weathering on these as well so uh, yeah I'll just uh, hand you over to my previous self and uh, go through a few jobs that I've been up to Just got my uh, boards made up for the uh, uh, Stafford South section. So it's uh, just a quick view of those. So uh, it's got legs there. So uh, just need to varnish them up. So I'm just going to apply some weathering to the uh, GBRF wagons. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to do uh, spray some uh, brake dust on the bottom. Uh, I've already uh, taped up these, so the mask stuff. Uh, in addition, I'm going to weather the roofs of the second 90 I brought. So this is the first one. So um, just based on photographs, I've just used um, frame dirt to lightly spray over the top and I've also painted frame dirt on the bogies. I'm not a fan of, well I don't want to actually spray frame dirt on the bogies because I don't want the paint getting into the wheels so I always paint the bottoms. So uh, we'll get on with that next. <clears throat> so I've just applied uh, some uh, Real match uh, brake dust to the under frames and bogus. Just give a quick shot of that. Um, and also, I've um, applied a very light coating of frame dirt to this and then painted the bogus as well. Uh, just um, remember when you're actually using a spray, um, especially on engage, just, just use a very light touch on the trigger. You do not want to overdo this. Um, so it's quite a sort of subtle effect on the roof. <clears throat> so what I want to do next is I want to just have a go at applying some um, by airbrush, um, some aggregate dust on the sides of these. Um, on the bottoms which you usually find. So uh, I'll have a go, get on with that now. So I've just uh, airbrushed some uh, general aggregate coloured uh, dust on using uh, this Vallejo here. Um, and what I'm then doing is just going over with a um, cotton bud and some uh, thinner and just uh, going in and just cleaning off some of the excess um, airbrushed, where it's airbrushed over the top 
so uh, create that kind of dirty f effect where the um, angle gear has got caught in the groove sort of thing so uh, continue with that right I've just gone over with the cotton buds so I'll just give you a, a look now at them so um, I suppose it's more of a subtle effect where the um, aggregate is so sort of dug into the the corner sort of thing I think I'll notice in pictures the bogey is always actually covered in it because they're of gravity I suppose Yeah, um, reasonably pleased with it. Um, yeah, um, I think I'll uh, I'll accept that. So I'll just give you a view of the uh, where the GBR flow goes all together. So I'll we'll just uh, give you a quick uh, look at those. I'm also doing some work to finish off the uh, signal box at Stafford, the number five, which was uh, sadly demolished, demolished like its brother, number four, at the other end in uh, around 2015. Um, I was lucky enough in 2012 to photograph it, so I've got a photograph of it here. So um, the one thing I hadn't done yet is I hadn't done um, these steps at the side. Um, and I've also decided to do slight a little bit of detailing like put these blinds in here so uh, the uh, blinds in there and then we've got these steps here um, I'll just fit them in a bit so um, let's get focused there these were just made using um, this plastruct stuff that you can buy not cheap so you can get this kind of railing, this um, stair railing like that. You can get these little mini stairs here. This is the packaging for them. Um, so that's the railing, it looks like. And then uh, that's the stair. So if you want to make your own, you can actually can do so. So yeah, just a bit fiddly job. Um, then glued, to, glued them together and then uh, painted them. So I'll just fit them now. So I've also decided to add some extra detail uh, inside as well. So I've got some uh, detail the windows as well, which I've uh, glued on the window sills. So uh, just to sort of uh, emulate some of the um, various bits and bits in the windows there. And I've also put the uh, big bar at the back of the um, signal box as well where underneath you've actually got the uh, signal levers so I just thought I'd put that in just to um, give an extra bit of depth so uh, I might I might come back to it and add um, some extra detail later but for now um, that's uh, that's where it's at just give you a close up
So next I'm just having a go at uh, modelling this little uh, waiting room here on the uh, left underneath the station. So uh, I'm just done a basic uh, drawing, just taking measurements also from the station I've done um, to scale it. And then I've um, I just created a little carcass so far. So I just need to put the brick facing on then next. Big facing done, I'll just give you a view of that. Just remember when you're cutting your brick out, you'll have to make it um, slightly bigger for the um, for the edging. So I always put it slightly bigger on each edge there on the front facing. So it then overlaps the side facing there. Just uh, airbrush the uh, edges of the windows now. Um, black paint, so we just need to uh, install them now. Uh, I've also painted the uh, grey the outside of the building. So we're uh, all glued together and painted up now. Um, got a little uh, one mil strip there which I uh, glued to the glazing and I've uh, painted this strip here in the Avanti blue which is uh, the colour of the uh, it's actually painted in now so uh, on a recent trip I did so uh, I'll just put on the layout now uh, So I've just been doing some uh, other little uh, additional jobs as well. So I've got this uh, road sign which uh, is done the usual way, printed off on the Affinity Photo. There's also a train save street light. Um, plus this area here, I've done this, uh, put this gate on this uh, storage area here, which is an eight foot gate by Enbrass. And then uh, there's some uh, bin, bins there and some barriers so just give you a look at those so the bins are by rusty nails and the barriers are by scenics 3d which uh, i brought off ebay i think they look quite really look quite good so i'm pretty pleased with those i'll just give you another close-up of the other project i did which is this little rear waiting room here so can you get a look there so uh thanks for watching um thanks for, again for the 500 subscribers uh, if you're not subscribed uh if you want to subscribe please subscribe and like the video so uh, hopefully on the next video i'll um i've got started already on the uh, stafford south and uh, i'll have removed the um fiddle yard area and installed the boards which uh, i showed you earlier so uh, i'll see you next time cheers